so let us see how we can create a content type for our requirement for this one i have taken an example of let us say book info i want to create information about books you can have a lot of other things associated with books right now i am just considering that there would be a title of the book there will be a author of the book there will be the isbn number publisher publication date genre description cover image fine right? so these are the things that we want to associate for a book now think again if you wanted to do it in this one it's going to be difficult and obviously that's not the idea behind using drupal so let's see how we can do that first of all we will need to go to structure under structure you can go to content types and over here i can add a new content you can even manage these existing ones we had seen that how to manage the menu option for uh, basic pages we had seen so let's go ahead and start with add a content type now here the content type name that's the form or input page which will be creating is the name of that it's not the content that will be creating that will be the next step later on so the name of this content type will be say book info fine this is the name that user will see and this is the input name for the system drupal that it's going to internally use it's called as a machine name this is useful later on when we are trying to filter out information and segregate it some description you can provide over here uh, let us say info about books fine now by default a title has to be there for any content type so it comes over here you can change this to book name fine if you want then preview options are there we'll keep leave it optional some explanation you want to add for the submission part when person submits then publishing options so when i am going to create this content using this content type information of book i am adding so do you want revisions do you want to be sticky at top of list we had seen that how to utilize it as a blog or Uh, get the information on front page from motor to front page you don't want these things so i'm going to leave this then display settings now display author date and information now here uh, the name of the author means the person who will be creating these pages not uh, this particular author right this is going to be we will be creating this field later on so i don't want to display uh, the name of the author who is writing these articles so i'm going to disable this then menu settings as we had seen last time how to enable it for which menu it's by default on main navigation i'm not going to do any changes right now later on we will see we'll create a special men menu for this and then we will put it over there so with this point now i can start and plan to add my fields now every time you create a content type you will notice that title is already there and there is a body part if you don't want uh, some information or anything you could remove this body but let us have a look at the things that we want we have a description fine a summary or description for the book so i could use this body for part for that particular one so let me edit and change this over here to description fine small description about the book now whether this is a required field yes we want it compulsorily over there allowed format means when we enter something uh, let me say add content basic page what happens is here usually in the body part you see this editor that comes up so basic html allows me to use certain html tags restricted allows me very limited number of tags over here of html and plain text uh, here there is a full full html plain text is not showing up full html means i can utilize almost all html and other formatting so this is the text format you can manage these text formats from the text format area we will see that later on so this is what it means fine so if it is on basic html we are allowed bold italics and very few tags over here so here by default we want to set it to allow text formats what you want to allow i will allow plain text and some 
basic HTML, fine. So that the user can just give input in plain text and some simple basic HTML. Then summary input is we had seen that uh, apart from this we can have a small summary also. So if that is required we can have a summary input also. This is also useful while creating some views and output and other things. So now I have created or edited the body field. Now we want to add the remaining inputs for our book. So title. So title is basically going to be simple text. Fine. So let's say create a new field or you could reuse an existing field. Now we don't have any existing fields that we could reuse because we have not created many content types and the basic ones are uh, having only these particular fields and which is not of our interest. Maybe I, I would use this field image again which is being used in article. I could reuse that but right now I am not interested in that. Fine. So what happens is uh, when we create these fields actually some changes take place in database where this information is to be stored. So if I reuse an existing one, I reuse the existing field and Drupal takes care of associating it with my content. And if I create a new field, some new fields will be added into our Drupal database tables and whatever is there. We don't need to worry about Drupal takes care of it. But again, there would be some changes made into the database. So let's say we'll create a new field and the field type you can select. Now if you have worked with HTML form you will know that these are almost the same things which we use for input type text, date and so many other things. So here I just want input type text plain because author's name is going to be simply plain text. So author's name we are having here author's name and here it has given it this fine now we will save and continue now here what could be the length of the author names 255 characters is more than enough then i have limited to one you can set it to unlimited or you can take the input for multiple authors also for this example we'll just consider that we are having only one author for the book let us save this then author's name here help text enter author's name. So we have entered author's name, enter author's name in the help text and is it a required field? So I have set it to required field and let us now save this. So author field is now created. We will uh, reposition them later on. Now let's see what next we want is ISBN. ISBN the international standard book number is Basically, it's a 13 digits number. Now, I can create a field which could be integer, but integer has some restriction of up to 10 digits only. And in ISBN, we are not going to have any kind of, uh, what do you say, calculations or mathematical stuff going on. Though even it's an integer, I would take a plain text here for that purpose also. I will say ISBN and let's save and continue one book is going to have only one isbn and we know it is 13 characters so i could limit it to 13 fine or 13 digits so i'm going to put it as 13 so let's save this setting now here isbn enter isbn i'll not keep it as required field because if some book does not have a isbn then it will be a problem so we have now author's name description ISBN. Now similarly publisher, publication date, genre, description and cover image. So now let us create a field for publisher. So create a new field. I will keep it as again uh, plain text label publisher and save. Again, I don't think the publisher is going to be very, very lengthy and we'll assume there is only one publisher for this. We'll save the field setting, enter and let's make it a required field, save this. So now I have publisher also. Let's see what else is there. Publication date. Now here we will take up date. Fine. Here this is going to be date. 
publication date let's save this and now this is going to be a different field now it says what you want limit is obviously one date only because there is nothing to do with the time part we'll save the field enter publication date so I have publication again we will set it as required field save settings and here our date is added publication date I think this is sticking together let's edit this publication date fine save this let's create another field what is left is genre fine so create a new field Again, this I can have simply as text. Later on, I will show you how you could utilize it with taxonomy or a drop down or something. Fine. Or let's have a look at a drop down list of text. Fine. Then genre. Save and continue. So this basically limits the option of this thing. Now, in drop down list, what you need to do is you need to enter key and value pair fine so here the key and the label key is what gets stored so like sf i will have science fiction this is how it is to be stored this is to be the pipe symbol fine so displayed will be science fiction stored will be sf then hr let us say horror uh, horror then BG let's say biography then uh, what else can be there let's add one more which is uh, HS let's call it as street. so you can set the list from here and set to only one value we'll save this and say select required field and save this now i have added these fields what else is remaining description all these things are done and cover image now here for cover image we will simply use this existing one fine image now this is not going to disturb the other one it will just I am giving a name for reference over here fine cover image cover image fine here cover image this will not keep it as compulsory we will browse the image alternate text Fine. This is usually for HTML, the title, allowed types. Fine. And when it is going to be stored, where it will be stored. So custom, uh, some format is there. So instead of that, we will say book cover image. I don't want it to be stored in some kind of date and time structure. We can restrict the maximum image resolution. So we will have. 1024 by 768 and minimum let us say 200 by 200 maximum upload size how much big it should be let's say 1 m fine 1 mb we don't want very big image to be uploaded enable alt field enable field required and title field so let's Give this these are for the HTML purpose internal purpose let's save this setting now you can see that my required things are done fine so fields are added and my content type is ready so if we go to content now add content you will notice there is a book info coming up and here I can now add a book book name cover image description author's name isbn publisher publication date fine a calendar is coming up and a genre we can 
do it from here. Now the only thing is that this book name is fine. Cover image is immediately coming after that description. So I would want to reset these values, right? Reset in the sense after the title, I want author, ISBN, publisher, publication date, genre, and this description, I want it completely in the end and image after that while inputting. So there are two things here we will notice is manage fields, manage form display and display. Manage form display means when I am creating this, in which order these fields should show up. So over here, we will come to, I'll just close this basic page. I'll come here, book name, that is the title, cover image. So authored by, these are internal ones. We, we don't want this to be authored by author own. These are the internal ones promoted, which we will see on the sides. Now, so what I want is that I want this after book name, author name. Then I want ISBN coming up over here. Then after ISBN, I want the publisher. Fine. Just keep in mind which ones you created. These are the internal ones. Fine. URL alias and other things. Description I want here. And publication date. Let's keep it after description or better that I will keep it here publication date and then the genre over here fine and let's save this now this is going to make sure that the form displays in this format so let's reload this and let's see what happens now you can see the book name author name ISPN cover image then publisher date genre and then description are coming up and that is the way we have kept it over it. This is basically how to display while user enters the value. And when someone will view this page, fine. Then in which mechanism should the output come up? So here <coughs> the cover image is there. The first thing after cover image, we would want the title fine. Uh, which is the book name. I think the title will automatically come in the top, right? So cover image or let us say author's name. After that, we have the cover image. Then we will have the ISBN. We will have the publisher, publication date, genre and description, fine. So let's save this. And now we have basically managed how to get input and how to display the book. Fine. Now here you can go back to your site and let's now try out this particular content type. So let's again go in the regular manner, create add content book. Fine. So let's just take up some dummy book fine learning drupal author's name i'll put my name isbn i will put some number since i have restricted it to 13 digits it will not allow me to do that publisher open source cook when it was published Let's take up some uh, date, fine. Okay. Uh, and let's say this, some date I have taken and we will set the genre to science fiction. A book about Drupal. I can have a summary over here if you require, fine. So let's just copy this. Fine. Now I need a cover image. So let's take up some image which will work as this thing. I'll just take this for example. Alternate text 
Drupal learn learning Drupal. fine now let's save this and now you can see your book is created though we did not give it any kind of uh, name it's taken a node number URL alias and other things you can set in the normal manner fine author's name Varav Pant is coming up image is coming up ISBN and so on so now I have created a content type and with this content type I can take input for books and every time I will take an input for book it will be in a formatted manner with the specific required fields and they will be displayed in this manner now again I want to point out that when I created this content type my purpose is not to use it directly in this manner Drupal provides us many different ways to display this content in a better manner or a different manner fine right? by filtering out certain information based on different things and that is going to be views which we'll see later on some simple examples about that maybe we'll use the same content type for that purpose so that's the idea behind content type and while working with Drupal you are expected to create these content types to store your data in a better format